Welcome to our tiny fridge in our tiny home. <laughs> Hello adventurers! If you are new to this channel, my name is Kristen. I got my lovely husband behind the camera, Sia. <laughs> and this is Hopscotch the Globe. This channel is all about living your best life through travel and alternative living. We live in a 1976 Airstream and when we're not living in this, we're traveling internationally and we inspire people and teach people how to live this type of lifestyle as well. Now we've done quite a few Airstream videos in the past, but this month is all about Airstream. We're calling it Airstream-a-thon and so for the next four weeks you can expect every single video that is released to be all Airstream related. This video has been highly requested by so many of you guys, so here it is. What's in our fridge? I absolutely love food and love cooking and love grocery shopping. It's like going to Disney World for me. So I just went grocery shopping yesterday to pick up a few things. It's not always the same stuff over and over again. This is what we're eating right now. But there are things that we continue to eat and continue to buy at the grocery store every single time we go because it's just, we just love certain things. We need to have them in our fridge. It is a small fridge, but it does pack a lot. Like it's impressive. We probably grocery shop once a week and maybe pick up extra produce another another time during the week. On the door here, we have sparkling water that we've been, been obsessed with. It's called Bubbly, and it has really super low sodium and a hint of flavor. This one is grapefruit, not my favorite. I really love the orange and the strawberry. This is all that they had at the grocery store this time. We have some jam and almond butter. We always have some sort of nut butter, peanut butter, and then maybe a cashew butter or an almond butter is very common for us to have. On the top shelf here, we have grass-fed butter. We like to put this in coffee sometime to make a bullet coffee or we cook with it. We've got a bunch of different cheese because I've been obsessed with cheese, pregnant especially. We just really like cheese. So we got all different kinds. Uh, one of my favorite is smoked cheddar. Mm, so good. I got two types of probiotics, which is very important for me. Um, I'm all about gut health, especially because I've had issues over the years with my gut and probiotics have done wonders for me. So since becoming pregnant, I've been taking 120 billion plus 20 strain probiotic, which is a really intense high probiotic. Uh, but typically I take the 100 billion. This one, the 100 billion is from New Life, or New Life, sorry, and then the the other one, 120 billion, is by New Roots. And over here, we have some nut cheese. So these are cashew cheese. We got smoky artichoke and herb and chipotle cheddar. And these are nuts for cheese. That's the brand. They're so good. Oh my God, I've tried so many different nut cheeses. These ones are my favorite. A little on the pricier side, but it's so good. It's like the best treat ever. And down here, we have some coconut milk. I actually prefer to make my own milk, but sometimes I just don't have the time and we go through milk a lot because we have smoothies and coffee and cereal and we just use milk all day long. But we don't use cow milk, we always use coconut milk or almond milk, cashew milk. Over here I've got a massive bag of hemp hearts. This is something that I always have in the fridge. It's actually good to have it in the fridge once you've opened it, keep it fresh. And I put these in smoothies, I put them on cereal, I put them on salad. It's a really good good source of protein. We'll start on the top shelf. We have so many condiments for a tiny fridge, that is. But we are obsessed with condiments. We love dipping whatever we can in sauces and using sauces to marinate vegetables and meats and tofu. So we're a big fan of condiments. Instead of using soy sauce, we use coconut aminos. And this brand I really like, Naked Coconuts, and you can use it in stir fry, uh, you can use it on salads, it's delicious, it tastes even better than soy sauce. If you do not have this in your fridge, go to this grocery store right now, well not right now, after you watch this video, and get some, because it is just so delicious. Another item we always have in our fridge is apple cider vinegar, because we use it for so many different things. I put it on all my salads as a salad dressing, usually with some olive oil. And I also use it to clean vegetables, especially lettuce. We use it to clean our 
our place. It's great. It's a great cleaning product. We have tamari, organic tamari. So it's again a, so a soy, sauce, soy sauce substitute. It's gluten free. We've got pumpkin seed oil. We got sriracha. Sriracha. <laughs> and this is the organic red hot sauce sriracha by Simply Natural, which is better than the other typical sriracha you see in most grocery stores. This one's from Whole Foods. Cholula, where are you? Where's the Cholula? We cannot forget about Cholula. She wasn't in the fridge because we used her for dinner. Hot sauce from Mexico, and it's so good. And like every pregnant woman, or the majority of pregnant women, you need to have pickles in your fridge when you're pregnant. And Bubby's pickles are the best. We have some non bread that Sia eats. I'm gluten free, so I would not be eating that, but I do have some gluten free millet chia loaf here for like in the morning with almond butter or lunch. I put avocado usually on with some salt and pepper on a slice of this bread. Organic kefir, this is another thing that's always in our fridge. It's super good for your gut, it's got a, tons of probiotics in it. And this brand I absolutely love. It's from Pine Hedge Farms. It's an Ontario company. We also have Atlas's food. Sia made food for him from scratch. So there's some chicken and broccoli and carrots in there that have been um, put in the food processor and blended all together. He's a lucky pup. He gets like top of the line food here. This copper mug, copper, not a mug. What would you be called? Copper, what's it called, Sia? Jug. Jugs. <laughs> you would remember that word. <laughs> we always have water in it and it keeps it nice and cold. Great in the summertime. And copper is really good for you. This is our fruit and veggie shelf. Plus we have some veggie burgers and some tofu. For fruits, we've got strawberries, we've got blueberries, we've got blackberries, all organic. We've got some organic cucumbers. We've got a field cucumber and then I don't know, what is this, an English cucumber or something? Yellow and red tomatoes. We've got golden berries, which are delicious. And on our last shelf here, we have chocolate. Lots of chocolate. Necessary. Another thing that's always in our fridge, dark chocolate. We've got 85%, 82%, and this is 67 mint dark chocolate. And they're all open because because I eat it all the time. <laughs> Next to that, we have some greens to make some salad. We've got Vita eggs, free run eggs. Sia eats these, I do not. My stomach doesn't like eggs. And then we've got zucchinis. I've been obsessed with making zucchini noodles with avocado pesto sauce. It is so good. We actually have a recipe in another video. I'll link in the description box below, but we have these uh, green bags as well, and we have white ones that keep uh, that keep the vegetables fresher when they're in the fridge. And it's better than using plastic. And lastly, I told you, like small fridge, but it fits a lot. We have our drawer at the bottom. We've got one of the white bags I was mentioning with some kale. Uh, we got purple kale this time around. We have some basil to make the zucchini pa pasta. We've got carrots. We've got celery, again, everything's organic, and organic pepper, just a red pepper, garlic, and broccoli. We also have a fruit bowl, my favorite kind of bowl, and our citrus bowl. We go through a lot of lemons and limes. I like to have lemon water first thing in the morning, and we've been making a lot of guac lately, and you can't have guac without lime, so. Got a lot of oranges because oranges are amazing. In this bowl, we've got a lot of goodies. We got avocados, we've got nectarines, we've got mangoes. These are probably the best mangoes I've had in like the last year. B bananas and green apples. We are outside Luna right now and we have an outdoor fridge. We have the new air beverage cooler and we got it because after a year of living in Luna and being in different RV parks, we've seen a lot of RVs that have outdoor fridges and we thought that is such a good idea because it's been a really hot summer and it's nice to have nice, fresh, cold beverages at your fingertips 
when you're lounging at a picnic table or swinging in a hammock, you don't have to go inside to get something cold to drink. We have coconut water. We have the Vita Coca right now. We get different types of coconut water depending on which grocery store we're at, what's on sale. Um, these ones are pretty good, but they're not my favorite. They're a little on the sweeter side. They don't taste as natural as other brands that I've tried. We've got some bottled water in the back here. We have some meat, some really good meats from one of the markets down the street. Uh, we got some chicken kebab here that we can grill up on the barbecue. We've got empanadas. <laughs> and we've got a Tuscany sausage. In the middle shelving area, we have these Pop Shop black cherry, and I guess there's some other flavors as well. I have never actually had one of these. Uh, I'm not really into soda, but when we have guests, they love them. There's also a couple beers. I would kill to have a beer right now, but I will wait until the delivery room, push that baby out, and then I'm having a Guinness. The bottom shelf, we've got some orange juice, some organic orange juice from Grown Right. And we also have some tzatziki. And yeah, so that's what's in our fridge right now. Outside fridge, I should say. So this little fridge can actually hold 84 cans. But as you can see, we have other things inside of it. You don't have to just put cans inside the fridge. You can put whatever you want. And it's been great for us because we have such a tiny fridge inside the Airstream, which does hold a lot. But especially during the summer when you want cold drinks all the time, this has been such a lifesaver. I'm so glad we got it recently. I'm gonna put links to this fridge and the company, they sell other things as well, in the description box below if you wanna go and check that out. I hope you enjoyed What's in My Fridge Airstream Edition and you were surprised at how much we can actually fit in our tiny fridge. It's a lot, right? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed already, click that notification bell so you get notified when we release a video because YouTube, you, you gotta click it or else you just don't get notified. And thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other Airstream videos. If you're interested in this type of living, which I assume you are, go check those out. We've got lots of them and so many more coming your way. I am pregnant. I am not smuggling a watermelon. <laughs> There's a baby brewing.